Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we're going to do a video on a tool that was sent to me by this company called Saker. Now if you remember correctly, I did do a video a while back about a miniature chainsaw that was given to me by the company. And to be very honest with you, I, I really like the product. So when they reached out to me and asked me to take a look at this one here for them, I decided I would go ahead and do it. Now the mini chainsaw, I shall, I'll put it in a somewhere in this video i'll put a link that you can go and check it out that worked exactly as it was supposed to after i finished filming the video i did take it and i went out to the front of my property out here and i needed to, to take down a part of a tree that had died over the winter time and it worked exactly as it was supposed to the battery lasted probably all of about probably 15 or 20 minutes before i had to recharge it again but the chainsaw itself worked flawlessly so we're going to see how this one works here we're going to t open it up and find out what's in the box and then we're going to go in the back over here and we're going to use it to trim off some of these uh, these shrubs out here so uh, it does have two attachments one attachment is for one attachment is for is for trimming hedges the other attachment is to um, if you have to do any edging on the grass and you need to get in really tight with it it's an edger for grass as well and we'll try it in the back probably back over here we have some grass that's a little bit tall we'll try it and we'll see how that works on there but I'm curious to see how the one for the hedges works um, now obviously it won't cut any really thick branches but to trim off any shrubs we're going to see how it does all right so this is what comes inside the box itself it does come with the battery of course it's a 20 volt it's a 20 volt battery 1.5 amps so we have that we have the charging cable of course and it does have an indicator light on it to tell you when the uh, the battery is charging and when the battery is fully charged uh, of course it comes with the owner's manual and the unit itself now this is the this is the unit and this is the trimmer for trimming the grass we'll check it out and we'll see how that works as well and the one i'm more anxious to use is this one here this one's for trimming the bushes any kind of hedges uh, anything that has a, a smaller branch and you want to get in there and just cut it this is supposed to be for that but we're going to see how it works uh, i've never used a battery powered one before so we're going to see how it does, how this works together first time for me and you're going to see how it works now to, to switch over the ends to get it from this uh, grass clipping end to put that hedge trimming one on you just take these little pieces right here squeeze them in and then you just grab it and you pull it and it comes right out just like that we then take our trimmer line it up push it in and you'll feel it snap in place and that's all there is to it now the battery the battery has not been charged yet so we're going to see how it is out of the box without charging it the battery just goes in here and snaps in place uh, I also see that the that the trimmer is adjustable if you need to adjust it for any area that you're working with you can adjust it and it says on here 15 degrees so it looks like that's a 15 degree adjustment that you can do I'm going to probably use it just straight just like this it does have a safety on the top right here so nobody can pull this trigger by accident without pressing this one down first and then you push this button to get it to run just like that so there's no way you can accidentally pick it up and turn it on without the pressing that button there it does have a lanyard in case you're climbing a, a ladder or whatever and you need to hold it you can put your wrist through it so you don't lose it or drop it but uh, that's it let's go in back let's test it out and see how it works all right so we're going to trim these off we're going to see as you can see these are probably i'm going to say between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch so let's uh, let's see how it works press our button in right here turn it on Okay, here we go.
actually it works pretty good. I'm not sure how long the battery will last, but uh, I'm, I didn't charge it up fully yet, but it seems to be working pretty good. Let me put the grass attachment on, and we're going to go cut the grass a little bit, and we'll see. So let me just switch the attachment over, and we'll come right back. Okay, let's test it out on this grass and see. Now, if you ever catch me out in my backyard using this, you'll know I lost my marbles because this is going to be a lot of work cutting a, around the whole perimeter of your yard when you got probably three quarters of an acre and doing it by hand. But let's see how it works. We're going to come in here like this. You know, something that comes to mind with this, this trimmer right here, if you have a vegetable garden and you have everything planted, nice, neat rows inside there, and you don't want to damage the products that you put in there, whether it's tomatoes or cucumbers or peppers, whatever you have planted out there, this will be good to get in there, and you could trim any of the weeds that may intrude on the garden without trying to get in there with, tra with your traditional weed whacker and wind up taking out the plants that you work so hard to to grow. So I'm going to see how this works in our garden. As the weeds start to come through the fence, we're going to cut them back with this and we'll see how it works through the growing season. We're going to come in here like this. That's it. So the, the grass trimmer actually works just as well as the other one does. Probably the one I'm going to use the majority of the time is the one to do the hedges. Because as you can see, I got a lot of hedges around the property that will start to come through the fence. And we'll give it a try and we'll see how it works on there. All right, but that's it. I'll keep you posted. And I'll let you know how long the battery life is. And I'll do an update when I take this out front and I cut back some of my azaleas in the fall. All right, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.